Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Kindly watch until the end of the video and please do like, share and subscribe. Hello guys, today let's see what happens if you hold in your pee for too long. Is holding in your pee for too long hazardous? It is normal for most people to resist the urge to urinate. Mostly everyone has held in urine at one time or another. Maybe because we are busy in our works or simply no restrooms inside. How much urine can your bladder hold? A healthy adult bladder can hold as much as half a liter or 16 ounces or 2 cups of urine before you feel the urge to urinate. For children under the age of 2, the bladder can hold up to 4 ounces. Here is what happens to your body when you hold in your pee. Your body knows how much is in there because your bladder is also filled with tiny receptors that sends a message to your brain when the bladder reaches its capacity. Holding your pee involves consciously fighting its signal to urinate. These signals will differ from person to person. They also vary according to your age, how much liquid your bladder contains and what time of day it is. These signals decrease at night. Fortunately, most of us have full control over our bladder function. So when we receive this message, we can choose to either relieve ourselves right away or hold it because it's really long way to the restrooms. But what exactly happens in our body when we hold all that pee in? The cylindrical sphincters in your bladder close up tightly to keep all the urine from leaking through your urethra. These little muscles are great at what they do until you make them do it consistently for a really long time say if you are holding in your pee on long trips several times a week if you make a habit of holding in your pee for ages you are subjecting yourself to pretty serious long-term effects including a higher risk of infections constantly holding in your pee can weaken your bladder muscles which could lead to urinary retention the condition that prevents you from being able to fully empty your bladder when you pee, making you feel like peeing a lot. Holding in large amounts of urine for an extended period of time also exposes your body to harmful bacteria, which can also increase your chance for getting a urinary tract infection or bladder infection. Some people may develop an overactive bladder or have a bladder that is triggered by stress. For some women, the urge to urinate more frequently can increase after having children. This results from changes that occur during childbirth, including weakened muscles and nerve stimulation. If your urinary system is healthy, holding your pee generally isn't dangerous. In certain circumstances, holding urine for a long time can be dangerous. If you have any of the following conditions, Holding your urine can increase your risk of infection or kidney diseases. Enlarged prostate, neurogenic bladder, kidney disorders, and urinary retention. Women who are pregnant are already at an increased risk of having urinary tract infections. And holding your pee can further increase this risk. Can holding urine cause UTI? Simply holding your pee does not cause a UTI. UTIs occur when the bacteria make their way into the urinary tract. If you don't empty your bladder on a regular basis, the bacteria are more likely to sit and multiply in the bladder, and this can lead to a UTI. Your risk for a UTI may also be higher if you do not drink adequate amounts of water. This is because your bladder won't be full enough to send the signal to urinate. Bacteria that might already be present in the urinary system will then be able to multiply and potentially leading to an infection. Symptoms of UTI Persistent need to urinate Burning sensation while peeing Strong smelling urine Urine that looks cloudy Blood in urine and pelvic pain Other possible side effects of holding in pee Pain People who regularly ignore the urge to pee may feel the pain in the bladder or kidneys as well as urinating may also hurt. The muscles may also stay partially clenched after the urine is released, which can lead to pelvic cramps. 
bladder stretching in the long term regularly holding in pee can cause the bladder to stretch this may make it difficult or impossible for the bladder to contract and release pee normally if a person has a stretched bladder extra measures such as catheter may be necessary damage to pelvic floor muscles frequently retaining urine may harm the pelvic floor muscles one of these muscles is the urethral sphincter which keeps the urethra closed to prevent urine from leaking out damaging this muscle could lead to urinary incontinence doing pelvic floor exercises such as kegels may help to strengthen these muscles and prevent leakage or repair muscle loss kidney stones holding in pee may cause kidney stones to form in people with a history of the condition or people who have higher mineral content in their urine pee often contains minerals such as uric acid and calcium oxalate thank you for watching hope you guys like this video and see you all in next video